Hello everyone, Diavolo here with a new review for the Yokai Watch Turiski Card Battle Card Game. Yeah, this is the uh, starter set I just managed to get hold of. Uh, the game itself has been out for quite a while, so there's several reviews online now probably where you can see some of these things, but uh, I managed to pick it up. Uh, the extra starter pack itself is quite cheap, $50, and you get, I think, just enough cards for two people to play a basic game, uh, starter map, and the rules. So let's look at the uh, packaging itself. It's really nice packaging, I think. It's, uh, it's quite thin, just to put it on easy to hang on a rack. Uh, caught my eye straight away, you see. It's all metallic and nice. The uh, font's really nice, really bold, pops out. We've got the characters, we've got Warunyan, Korma-san, Jibanyan, uh, Mogappa, Semimaru, and uh, Whisper. Now, the Whisper card is a special card that's only in the uh, starter set. He's like a limited card for starter sets. Um, yeah. On the back, we have what we're going to get inside the set, uh, talking about the uh, rare cards we can get, some of them have special metallic versions, and telling us to buy more boosters. So yeah, this is the play mat you get with the uh, starter set. Uh, it comes with a very small mat for two players to play on. Uh, all the basic things are here. We have our, uh, that's where the deck goes. This is where you put yokai when you use them for powering up towards mana. Discard pile, three enemies, three monsters on each side to fight each other. I am going to do a tutorial once I've had a few games myself. Uh, so if anyone's interested in playing, I'm going to make a tutorial of this later on in the week. So keep an eye out for that. And the back of the play map contains all the rules you need to know how to play. Uh, this game is a very basic game. It's kind of like Magic the Gathering, slightly tweaked down for kids. Lots of basically playing yokai and putting mana underneath them to do attacks. Killing a certain amount of them and you're a winner. Uh, the decks are quite small. And the games are really quick, normally a couple of minutes or ten minutes per game, nothing major fast. Again, uh, we'll do a playthrough later on in the week, so keep an eye out for that. So, uh, inside now, let's pop it open. And inside, we should have, yep, two, two packs. Now this is uh, two decks, I believe, one for each player from the starter set. So let's cut them open and see what we get inside. Okay, set number one, don't want to cut any of the cards open. Now, let's see who we get. Ba -boom. Oh, look at that. So first one we get is Semimaru, and it's uh, a variant. So the starter set variants, I think they're all shiny for one thing. <laughs> so yeah, you can see this is Semimaru. Uh, now the cards themselves, we have the picture of the character, and the attacks he can do and damage, and his uh, Turuski card ability, if he can be used for doing uh, attacks or defense bonuses. So yes, Semimaru, Jibanyan, Nokappa, and Koma-san, so this will be the first half scene. And notice these are all Purichi, all Purichi type, all the cute type or cute tribe. Um, the numbers you see in the top of the cards here, they're the uh, power level of the creatures basically. You can only have teams up to six, six points on, this, on the map at once. So each one has like variants of like one to, actually one to six I think, because some yokai are like really powerful. Uh, but again, I'm going ahead of myself, we'll look at this when I do the demo. Let's look at the next pack. Okay, so pack number two. Let's take a look. Let's cut open. Don't want to damage any of my cards inside. Okay, let's see who we have. Get out of here, scissors. Oh, we got a little advertisement for boosters here. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> that is a super rare Robonyan, one of my favorite characters. Uh, yes, I didn't know he was in this set. So we have Robonyan. Warunya. Uh, Shirakoma, I think that's who he is. It's Koma-san's second level. And the Wispa uh, event card, special for this set only. So they actually do give you, um, they give you quite a few rare cards, because he's a rare, and he's a super rare, and he's a super rare. So you get a few good super rare cards in the starter set. Um, you can look at the artwork, see the differences between the regular cards are just like the anime clip offs, but then these super rares are really nice. They've got like a really cool style to them. It's kind of like weird CG style. Why um, don't you see? He's just, a, he's just a rare. One of my favorite yokai, by the way. And uh, you see, he's got his cool, like, different art style. Really nice, like, cards. Good quality as well. Good thick cards. I'm surprised. Yeah, got some good stuff in there. So here it is, these are the cards you get in the starter set. Uh, I may be wrong before, this looks like it's just one player starter deck. You get two event cards, and basically two or three of each monster, uh, one super rare character, and the rest are all uh, 
either rares and super rares, mostly commons. Uh, definitely worth the value for money just to get some of these really cool super rares like Robonia and Shirakoma and um, Warunia, definitely. And also seeing all the commons and like a really nice shiny variant is cool as well. Uh, if you can pick it up, get started right now, I can guarantee they're going to be releasing expansion packs seeing as the new game is being released in on the, uh, the 10th of July. So they're going to have to catch up with all the new yokai they're releasing. So yes, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Leave a like and comment if you want. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. Thanks a lot, guys.